Welcome back YouTube to my channel on everyday life of an ASP presenter. I love you all. I'm ASP. I'm all about creating mental health and awareness and sharing my life stories with Asperger's Syndrome along with tips and advice along the way, be it your mental health, this is mental health. Also in the mix up of fun and games as well as everything else in between this. So if you're into any of these as I'm sharing, feel free to smash the subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner to join me on the bandwagon as a family member and also sign this to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos like so as you're aware i am doing all about the drug series of the common types or the most popular ones more in depth than before so as said these will be step by step hopefully as a little guide for you guys to educate you so if you are using any of these drugs as, as a open up for discussion before i begin this if you have what were the side effects and what have you learned based on using them and did you remain you know, sober from not taking these drugs anymore. What's your story? Feel free to share these in the description below. So this one's all going to be all about diazepam. And as you know, you may be wondering, what is diazepam? It's the very first question. Well, diazepam was very first marked as a drug called Valium, which is a medicine of the benzodiazepam family that typically produces a coming effect for patients that suffers from anxiety, depression and whatnot that blocks up the neurotransmitters in the brain. It's commonly used to treat a whole range of symptoms, as I just mentioned, one of them, anxiety. Alcohol withdrawal syndrome is another one. Benzodiazepine withdrawal syndrome, muscle spasms, seizures, trouble maybe sleeping and restless leg syndrome. May also be used by, shall we say, memory loss, during certain medical procedures. It can be taken by mouth of the root of the administration or basically inserted into the rectum, the, into the muscle, intramuscular, I should say. Intravenous is your vein, so it injected through your vein. When it's given into the vein, however, effects begin in one to five minutes and last up to an hour. By mouth, however, effects may take up to 40 minutes to begin to actually do its job of what it's supposed to be doing. So you may be wondering what diazepam structure is like, basically. This is basically going to be like up above you of the chemical structure, just to give you a brief overview of what it looks like. The common side effects to look for may include the following, sleeplessness and trouble with coordination. The serious side effects to look out for maybe are really rare though, and they may include suicide, decreased breathing and an increased risk of seizures if used too frequently in those with epilepsy. Occasionally excitement or agitation may occur for the long-term use can result in tolerance, dependence and withdrawal symptoms on dose reduction. Abrupt stopping after long-term use can potentially be dangerous and harmful for the user as well as people around you so it's best to know when's the best time to act. After stopping Cognitive problems may persist for up to six months or even longer periods of time. It's not recommended during pregnancy or breastfeeding to use this. Its mechanism of action is by increasing the effect of the neurotransmitter gamma, aminobutyric acid, or GABA. The medical uses, as I mentioned, does pain is mainly used for treating anxiety, insomnia, panic attacks, and symptoms of acute withdrawal alcohol withdrawal. It's also used as a pre-medication for inducing sedation, anxiolysis and amnesia before certain medical procedures, for example endoscopy. Diazepam is the drug of choice for treating benzodiazepam dependence with its long half-life allowing easier dose reduction. Benzodiazepams have a relatively low toxicity in an overdose. Diazepam has other number of uses that may include, as I mentioned, basically for anxiety, states of agitation, panic attacks, neurovegetative systems, including with your, that is associated with your vertigo, treatment of the symptoms of alcohol, opioid and benzopan withdrawals, short-term treatment of, of insomnia, treatment of tenderness together with other measures of intensive treatment, Adjunctive treatment of spastic muscular paralysis, paraplegia or tetraplegia caused by cerebral or spinal cord conditions such as a stroke, multiple sclerosis or spinal cord injury for long-term treatment is coupled with other rehabilitative measures. 
palliative treatment of stiff person syndrome, pre, pre or post operative sedation, anesthesiologic anesthesia, if for example before any surgical procedures it may be used, treatment of complications such as your hallucination, hallucinogen crisis and stimulant overdoses and psychosis, such as LSD and cocaine, and methamphetamine. Preventive treatment of oxygen toxicity during hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Seizures, intravenous diazepam or lorazepam if there's line treatments for status epileptic. <laughs> However, intravenous lorazepam has advantages over intravenous diazepam, including a high rate of terminating seizures and more prolonged anticonvulsive effect. Diazepam gel works better or was better than placebo gel and reduced the risk of non-cessation of seizures. Diazepam is really used for the long-term treatment of epilepsy, however, because tolerance to its anticonvulsion effects usually doubles within 6 to 12 months of using for treatment, effectively rendering it useless for that purpose. The anticonvulsion effects of diazepam can help in the treatment of seizures due to a drug overdose or chemical toxicity as a result of exposure to sarin, VX or Simon or any other organophosphate or poisons. Diazepam is sometimes used intimately for the prevention of febrile seizures that may occur in children under 5 years of age, however. Recurrent states are reduced but side effects may occur or are quite common. Long-term use of diazepam for management of epilepsy isn't recommended, however. A subgroup of individuals with treatment-resistant epilepsy benefit from long-term benzodiazepams and for such individuals, Chlorazepate has been recommended due to its low onset of tolerance to the anticonvulsion effects. Other kind of ways of looking at it is diazepam is used for the emergency treatment of enclampsia when IV ma magnesium sulfate and blood pressure control measures have failed, however. Benzodiazepams don't have any pain relieving properties themselves and are generally recommended to avoid in individuals with pain. Benzodiazepams such as diazepam can be used in as for muscle relaxant properties to alleviate the pain caused by muscle spasms and various dystoniasis. Tolerance often develops to the muscle relaxant effects of benzodiazepines such as diazepam. Predictions use of diazepam should be avoided when possible if individuals has ataxia, severe hyperventilation, acute neuroangioglycoma, Severe hepatic deficiency such as hepatitis and liver cirrhosis decrease elimination by a factor of the two. Severe renal deficiencies, for example, patients on renal dialysis, liver disorders, severe sleep apnea, severe depression, particularly when accompanied by suicidal tendencies, psychosis, pregnancy or breastfeeding, caution required for also elderly or developed patients, coma or shock. Abrupt discontinuation of therapy, acute intoxication with alcohol, narcotics, or any other psychoactive substances, with the exception of some hallucinogens or stimulants. History of alcohol or drug abuse or dependence, and so on and so forth. Caution. Treat with caution. Benzodiazepine or MPS and MSU should be guarded against when prescribed to those with alcohol or drug dependencies or even have psychiatric disorders. Pediatric patients less than 18 years of age, this treatment is usually not indicated except for treatment of epilepsy and pre operative post of the treatment. The smallest possible effective dose should be used for this group of patients that I'm mentioning. This, <clears throat> the elderly metabolize, metabolize benzodiazepines much more slow, slowly than younger adults, however, you've got to remember because obviously as we age, certain things changes in the body and it will be also sensitive to the effects of benzodiazepines even at small, smaller blood plasma levels. Doses of diazepam are recommended about half of those given to young people are limited to the maximum of two weeks. Long-acting benzodiazepines such as diazepam aren't recommended for the elderly. Intravenous or intramuscular injections in hypersensitive people or hypotensive people or those in shock should be administrated carefully and vital signs should be monitored at all times. Benzodiazepines such as diazepam are 
lipophilic and rapidly penetrates into the membranes, so rapidly cross over to the placenta with significant uptake of the drug. Effects of the of diazepam such such as diazepam includes anterogen amnesia and confusion, especially pronounced on high doses, and sedation. The elderly are more prone to adverse effects of diazepam such as confusion, amnesia, ataxia, and hangover effects such as well as falls. Long-term use of benzodiazepam such as diazepam is associated with drug tolerance. Benzodiazepam is dependent on benzodiazepam withdrawal. This, like any other benzodiazepam, Pains, diazepam can impair short term memory and learning of new information, while di- benzodiazepine drugs such as diazepam can cause interrogate amnesia, that d- they do not cause retrograde amnesia, however. Inflammation learned before using benzodiazepines isn't impaired. Tolerance to the cognitive impairing benzodiazepines cognitive effects may persist for at least six months. It's unclear whether these impairments take longer than six months to abate or if they are permanent. Adverse reactions or effects such as sedation, benzodiazepine dependent on abuse potential limit, the use of benzodiazepine sedatives and sleeping pills, including diazepam, have been associated with an increased risk of death. There has been a huge range of side effects of diazepam common to most benzodiazepines that I've mentioned in the last video, which includes suppression of REM sleep, a slow wave sleep, impaired motor function, impaired coordination, impaired balance, dizziness, depression, reflux, tachycardia. Less commonly paradoxical side effects can occur, including nervousness, irritability, excitement, worsening of seizures, insomnia, muscle cramps, changes in the libido, and in some cases, rage and violence. These adverse reactions are more likely to occur in children, the elderly, and individuals with a history of drug or alcohol abuse and or aggression. Diazepam may impair the ability to drive vehicles on operate machinery. The impairment is worsened by consumption of alcohol because both act as the central nervous system depressants. During the course of therapy, tolerance to the sedative effects usually develops, but not to the annex or lots of um, more relaxant effects. Patients with severe attacks of napia, apnea during sleep may suffer respiratory depression, hyperventilation leading to respiratory arrest and death. Diazepam, as well as with other benzodiazepine drugs, can cause tolerance, physical dependence, substance use disorder, and benzodiazepine withdrawal syndrome. Withdrawal from diazepam or any other benzodiazepines often leads to withdrawal symptoms similar to those seen during barbiturate or alcohol withdrawal. The higher the dose and the longer the drug is taken, the greater the risk of experiencing unpleasant withdrawal symptoms. Withdrawal symptoms can occur from standard dosages and also after short-term use and can range from somia and anxiety to more serious symptoms, including seizures and psychosis. Withdrawal symptoms can sometimes resemble pre-existing conditions and be misdiagnosed. Diazepam may produce my less intense withdrawal symptoms due to its long elimination of life. Again, there will be some pictures and diagrams to show you based on this part of it, tolerance and the withdrawal like symptoms to look out for. Benzodiazepine treatment should be discontinued as possible soon as possible by a slow and gradual dose re- reduction re- regime. Tolerance develops to the therapeutic effects of benzodiazepines. For example, tolerance occurs to the anti-compulsive effects and as a result, benzodiazepines aren't generally recommended for the long-term management of epilepsy. Dose increases may overcome the effects of tolerance, but tolerance may then develop to the hard dose and the effects may occur or increase. The mechanism of tolerance to benzodiazepines include uncoupling of receptor sites, alterations in the gene expression, downregulation of receptor sites, and desensitization of receptor sites to the effect of the GABA. About one third of individuals who take benzodiazepines for longer than four weeks becomes independent and experience withdrawal like syndrome on cessation. Rebound anxiety more severe than the baseline anxiety is also a common withdrawal symptom when discontinuing diazepam or any other form of benzodiazepines. Diazepam is therefore only recommended for short term therapy at the lowest possible dose, owing to risk of severe withdrawal symptoms from low doses even after gradual reduction. The risk of pharmaceutical Collegial dependence on diazepam is significant and patients may experience symptoms of benzodiazepam 
the drill syndrome. It is taken for six weeks or longer. In humans, tolerance to the anticonvulsant effects of diazepams occurs frequently. And a proper or excessive use of diazepam collated dependence. At a particularly high risk of diazepam misuse, abuse, or dependence, are uh, people with history of alcohol dr or drug abuse or dependence. Diazepam increases craving for the alcohol in problem alcohol consumers. Diazepam also increases the volume of alcohol consumed by problem light drinkers. People with severe personality disorders, such as borderline personality disorder, patients from the aforementioned groups should be monitored very closely during therapy for signs of abuse and development of dependence. Therapy should be discontinued if any of these signs are noted. However, other dependencies developed therapy are still to be discontinued gradually to avoid severe withdrawal-like symptoms. Long-term therapy in such instances isn't recommended. People suspect of being dependent on benzodiazepine drugs should be very gradually tapered off the drug. Withdrawals can be life-threatening, however, particularly when in excess of doses and taken for extended periods of time. An individual who has consumed too much diazepam typically displays more, more of the symptoms below that I'm about to mention in a period of approximately four hours immediately following a suspected overdose, which are drowsiness, mental confusion, hypertension, impaired motor function, impaired reflexes, impaired coordination, impaired balance, dizziness, and coma. Although not usually fatal when taken alone, a diazepam overdose is considered a medical emergency and generally requires the immediate attention of the medical personnel. The antidote for an overdose of diazepam or any other benzodiazepine is flumazenzil or anexate. This drug is only used in cases with severe respiratory depression or cardiovascular complications. Because flumazenzil is a short-acting drug and the effects of diazepam can last for days, Several doses of flamenzil may be necessary. Artificial respiration and stabilization of cardiovascular functions may also be necessary, though not routinely indicated. Activated charcoal can be used for decontamination of the stomach following a diazepam overdose. Allergy. Diazepam is a long acting classical benzodiazepam. Other classical benzodiazepam include chlorodiazepine. Clonazepam, lorazepam, oxazepam, nitrazepam, temazepam, and so on and so forth. Thiazepam has anticonvulsant properties. It has no effect on the GABA levels and no effect on the glutamate decarbolized activity, but it has a slight effect on gamma immunotriptic acid terminized activity. It differs from other anticonvulsant drugs which it was compared. Benzodiazepam via micromolar. Benzodiazepine binding sites as calcium channel blockers and synchronically inhibit depolarization sensitive calcium uptake in rat nerve cell preparations. Diazepam inhibits acetyl release in mouse synaptosomes. This has been measuring sodium dependent high affinity, choline uptake in the mouse brain cells and bite show and pre treatment of the mice with bite and vitamin of action of this is benzodiazepines are positive allosteric modulators of the GABA type A receptors or GABAA. The GABAA receptors are linear gated chloride selective ion channels that are activated by GABA, the major inhibitor neurotransmitter in the brain. Binding of benzodiazepines to this receptor complex promotes binding of GABA, which in turn increases the total conduction of chloride ions across the neuronal cell membrane. This increased chloride ion influx hypopolarizes the neuron's membrane potential. As a result, the difference between resisting potential and threshold potential is increased and firing is less likely. As a result, the arousal of the cortical and limbic systems of the central nervous system is reduced. Diazepam can be administrated orally, intravenously, must be diluted as it is painful and damaging to the veins, however, intramuscularly or as a suppository. When administrated orally, it's rapidly absorbed and has a fast onset of action. This onset of action is done 1 to 5 minutes for IV administration and 15 to 30 minutes of your intramuscular administration. The duration of diazepam's peak pharmacological effects is 15 minutes to 1 hour for both routes of administration.
The bioavailability of the oral administration is 100% and 90% after the rectal, rectal administration. The half-life of diazepam in general is 30 to 56 hours. Peak plasma levels occur between 30 and 90 minutes after oral administration between 30 and 60 minutes of the intramuscular administration after rectal administration. Peak plasma levels occur after 10 to 15. 45 minutes. Diazepam is highly protein bound with 96 to 99 percent of the absorbed drug being protein bound when diazepam is administrated by IM. Absorption is low, erratic, and incomplete. Diazepam is highly lipid soluble and is widely distributed throughout the body at the administration. It easily crosses both the blood brain barrier and the placenta and is excreted into breast milk. After absorption, diazepam is redistributed in its basal and adipose tissue. Continuing daily doses of Diazepam quickly builds to a high concentration in the blood, mainly in the adipose tissue. Fire in excess of the actual dose for any given day. Withdrawal kills when the body adapts to the chemicals in a drug. In fact, the body has to adapt to the drug like Valium in order to function as normal. So when you stop taking Valium on most of the dose, the body doesn't understand blood the drug is sent streaming along through its network. Therefore, it reacts in a way which can make you feel very uncomfortable. Being that Valium is a very sedative, is a sedative substance. It works in a similar way to alcohol by depressing the central nervous system and slowing down the body's responses. This is what creates a state of relaxation. Over time, your body becomes so used to this depressing of the nervous system that it just by speeding by other functions and processes. Taking away the Valium and you're left with the chemical imbalance. Once you stop taking Valium, withdrawal begins and symptoms start to arise. One of the first things you will notice is that you're not of the sense of relaxation. Since the central nervous system is no longer sedated by the chemicals. The body reacts in a way that's entirely opposite. Lots of activity and agitation. This counter reaction is highly uncomfortable and often painful. Luckily, it's not life threatening, and with the right medical supervision, users can manage the withdrawal like symptoms. Withdrawal from Valium can take from two to eight weeks. Intense symptoms can require medical supervision during any case of any Valium withdrawals. Duration will depend basically for the withdrawal of the amount of volume you took, your dosing frequency, the metabolism of the individual, how long you've been taking it. Generally speaking, people will begin feeling withdrawal like symptoms two to seven days after their last doses of volume. Symptoms may continue around for up to two to eight weeks and sometimes longer. Some symptoms may linger and are called post acute or protracted withdrawal like symptoms. These symptoms related to mood and sleep may persist. For months or years after acute withdrawal again a picture will be above me to explain this still the length of time does it takes to detox usually depends on how the dependent used the volume of the drug they become for example people who don't take hasn't taken volume for a long period of time or those who haven't overly abused it will find the withdrawal symptoms lasting for a short period of time and being less uneasiness it's helpful to know that to know that i been doing to such as Valium, it has an increased effect on the body. The half-life of Dozepam is much longer than Lorazepam or Aliprazam, for example. Therefore, if you're taking a substance with a similar chemical structure, but it's not Valium, you'll feel the same withdrawal-like symptoms, just at smaller and shorter intervals. Symptoms to look out for. No one knows who goes through Valium detox will experience the same withdrawal symptoms. Everybody will be different. Nor will they go to that extreme. Same extreme. The experience is highly individual, although many symptoms are common. These are divided into three subcategories of withdrawal symptoms, which are the most common when it comes down to the benzodiazepine withdrawal symptoms. So number one is your anxiety symptoms, anxiety, panic attacks, hyperventilation, tremors, sleep disturbance, weight loss, muscle spasm, visual disturbance, sweating, altered mood. Number two is your perception distortions, which are sensitivity to loud noises, abnormal body sensations, depersonalization, derealization, major events is number three. Seizures, psychotic like symptoms, tempering, medical experience and long term use of benzodiazepines may recommend that you slowly wean off the drug. In other words, taking less and less of volume over a period of time can help you manage these withdrawal like symptoms.